What's going on, everybody? It's Ted again here with the Calvin City Geeks, and the sun is setting on San Diego Comic Con 2024. Hope you guys have enjoyed all the content, uh, the interviews, the panel coverage, the latest and breaking news, and uh, we're also gonna have a ton of giveaways coming out this week and the following week because we got multiple things to hand out. Dave, this is gonna sound really stupid, but <laughs> what was your favorite part about San Diego Comic Con 2024? And I say stupid because Dave's got like a whole list of things to name off, but uh, what, what are some of the highlights for you? So my dream was to see Kevin Feige walk across that stage with my own eyes. And I did it multiple times because we didn't get into Deadpool Wolverine the screening, but I was in Hall H momentarily and I saw him walk across the stage about, what, 300 feet away from me? Oh, yeah. I saw him on the screen because I was escorted around it. Um, but then, of course, we got into Hall H for the Marvel Studios panel and I was in the media pit. He walked right in front of me very briskly. And uh, when he came back, he gave me a high five. And I did shout something at I, I gave him a compliment during when he was showing, I think, some uh, footage. And he didn't, make, he, he didn't react to it. It was a compliment. He didn't react to it. And I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. It felt like he was really on his game. He was like really in the zone for what he wanted to talk about, of course. So he didn't want to break that. But once it was all over, then he kind of relaxed and he was cool. And it, it was it was funny. That was that was my end game. I uh, I probably don't have uh, another. You know, it, it's gonna hard. It's gonna be really hard to choose for me as well because just so many cool things happened. So many things that we we planned went really well. Some things we didn't have planned popped up. <laughs> And we're just incredible. Um, I think for me, it's it. You can't beat you know the reveal with Robert Downey on on stage as Doom. Whether you like the idea or you don't like the idea, the fact that they did it in the way they did, and it's a massive announcement. Uh, it sent ripples through the entire nerd community. And uh, we're going to be talking about it for like months and months to come, probably leading all the way up to Doomsday, Avengers Doomsday, which will be out in two years. And they're going to have to get started ASAP because they want to hit that two year window. Uh, also, for me, just seeing Pedro Pascal in person was a, was a massive highlight. Uh, he was with the Fantastic Four family. The panel video will be out soon and um, they tricked the whole crowd saying that the cast wasn't there. Um, I didn't believe them at first, but as the panel went on, I was like, okay, maybe they really didn't show up. And then lo and behold, Feige brings them all out at the end and surprises the entire Hall H crowd. And a really cool moment that Dave and I had, uh, we were having uh, drinks last night and we run into Anthony Russo and uh, we just used that time to kind of congratulate him on another successful Hall H panel and uh, talked about how much uh, his brother and, and him, uh, his, their movies have meant to us. Uh, me especially because of Winter Soldier is still my all-time favorite MCU movie. But um, yeah, those are kind of the top three for me. Uh, like I mentioned, lots of videos coming out soon, panels, uh, giveaways, and Dave, did about five or six interviews this entire weekend. Those are dropping later this week. You're gonna wanna check back. Be sure to like, subscribe, uh, do share our content. We really appreciate it. And um, man, this this actually <laughs> tops any other San Diego Comic-Con I've had before. Uh, I've told you guys about how fantastic 2018 was. That was the last time I was here. Uh, this one completely blew it out of the water. Everybody's uh, leaving the convention center right behind us right now. It's already closed up. Uh, it was hilarious because when they announced that they were closed, you heard cheers and applauding. And it wasn't the attendees. It was the exhibitors who were like, yes, yes, it's over. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was real funny. Oh, so yeah, he's laughing. He knows what we're talking about. Got here. They're like, get the hell out of here already. <laughs> Anyways, we had an absolute blast, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Plenty of giveaways, like I mentioned, and I think later on this week, we also have a movie premiere coming out, so keep checking back for an update on how you can get uh, advanced screening tickets to the next movie. Coming to you from San Diego, 
I am Ted, aka Steady. Joining me, who just concluded his first Comic-Con, the one and only, David. I can't believe any of this happened to us. It's, it's incredible. We're gonna wake up back in South Texas and it's gonna be like, did that really happen? <laughs> it was all a dream. Yeah. Thank you guys. All right. <laughs>